are we doing any research for the tree nut industry here in Arizona? And by the way, for the listeners, it's not just the pecans. You've obviously heard us uh, reference pistachios. But we're, we've got a few acres now, commercial acres for almonds. So it's not just California that's growing in almonds. There is research going on. The University of Arizona has researchers, and plus they've they've recently done quite a bit of work on zinc. Oh. Uh, we used to have only zinc sulfate, which is a powder. Uh, you mix it and spray it on the leaves. Now there's formulations they've determined that you can put in the irrigation water so you don't have to drive your tractor out there and spray the trees, <clears throat> which okay. is a big help. Yeah. Um, they're doing research on a product called Ethafon, which is a, it's a hormone, but it helps the nuts mature quickly because right now we harvest twice because some of the nuts will be ready and some won't. So we go through twice. Well, we're hopeful that this product, once it gets registered, will dry up all the pecans at the same, the shucks. So all the pecans will be ready to harvest one time and you're done. Oh. And there's tests going on down in Green Valley and other places where they're using this product. And it's, it's pretty encouraging, but it's not registered yet on pecans. It's registered on other crops, but not on pecans. Is it a natural hormone? Yes. Okay. It's basically ethylene, eth- ethylene, which is a natural hormone in citrus and pecans. And that's what, so it's already that's what triggers hormone. the shuck to open is, is the meat gives off a little bit of the ethylene gas. Rosie, Rosie on the house, every Arizona homeowner's best friend. 